when we think of an allegory, we think of an abstract idea, something that doesn't have a physical or tangible manifestation. So it's, it's something like if we think of an emotion, so we think of love, we think of hate. So an allegorical painting would be the same idea. You take, you take something that doesn't yet have a physical manifestation, it doesn't have a tangible representative, and you yourself try to find a kind of sim symbolism by which you can express that intangible idea and make it into something that can be witnessed. And I tend to turn to the natural world to find those symbols, so I often turn to animal protagonists for my work. So I'll often go to a place like the Museum of Natural History in New York City, for instance, to find the muses that may become the sort of conduits to, to express an idea that I want to make into an allegory. So despite in this class us approaching the actual final painting stages like any old master would, we're going to put this together in a digital format to help us get there idea-wise and composition-wise. But when we get to the painting stages, we're really going to approach it from a traditional method of painting. And in doing so, we're going to look at a lot of ways by which we can really create the illusion that this is a world that you've invented, but I, in looking at it, will believe that it really exists. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We post new videos every week.